My friends, we're going to integrate sine to the power of 7 times cos to the power of 5 from 0 to pi over 2. And it's going to be awesome because this integral is all about identities. And I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Now with integrals, it's often nice to see if the derivative of a function is inside the integral. And cos is the derivative of sine. So we're going to write everything in terms of sine except for one of the coses because it's the derivative. So we're going to use the common identity cos squared equals 1 minus sine squared. Now we don't have a cos squared here, so we're going to square this identity to get cos to the power of fourth equals 1 minus sine squared squared. And if we substitute that in, this is what we got right here. Now this might look complicated, but remember cos is the derivative of sine, so we can do a u substitution where u equals to sine of x, and then if we take the derivative, du equals cos x dx. So this cos x dx becomes du and everything else, the, every other sign becomes u. Now we got to remember our limits. So as x goes to zero, that's the first limit. We get sine is zero, so u goes to zero. And in the other limit, as x goes to pi over two, we have sine of pi over two, which means u equal to one. Okay, now if we substitute that in, things look a lot simpler. <laughs> and we're almost there. Now we can't integrate these directly, but because this is like a polynomial, we can expand the brackets, we can foil it out, that sort of thing. And if you do that, then we're left with individual terms. And at this point, we can reverse power rule each of the terms. That's fun, that's our friend. We have u to the power of eight uh, divided by eight, because if you take the derivative of this, we get u to the power of seven which is what we want here. So we reverse power rule each of these terms, and we're, now we're going to evaluate it from zero to one. At zero, this is zero, so we just put one in there, and if you find a common denominator, which I did, it, it becomes one over 20, or if you just punch it into your calculator, you should get 0 0.0083 repeating, and my friends, that's our integral in all its glory. Yo, this is the faster way of doing this integral. <laughs> I did a, uh, an embarrassingly long version when I first did this, I'm not sure why, but uh, I used other trig identities. It was a roundabout route, got the same answer. You definitely, definitely need to check that out. All right, y'all, hang in there. Integrals are not easy, but you can survive. Cheers.